Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm doing my most worn clothing of 2022. This is the third year that I've done this video, so I'm going to have 2020 and 2021 linked in the card up here if you guys want to check them out but i just watched those videos before and it's so fun to look back on that specific phase of my life so i will most definitely be continuing to do this video every single year i'll link everything that i can in the description box but there are a few thrifted pieces so i apologize about that but let's just get into it starting off with shoes i have my birkenstock boston clogs and my converse chuck 70s i believe in the black colorway i got my birkenstocks at the end of 2021 so i did not get much time to wear them as that is like right when winter hits so i definitely took advantage of these being somewhat new in my wardrobe and i seriously wore them every single day in the spring summer and winter i personally think they're so cute i styled them in everyday wear but also they're just my quick shoe to throw on if i was like running to the store or going to my workout they're just obviously super easy to slip on and off and once they're molded to your feet they are extremely comfortable honestly out of all my shoes these are definitely the most worn just because they're so easy like i said the converse chuck 70 these were new to my wardrobe this year i think i picked them up in march these were also super versatile in my wardrobe because i wore them out pretty much any time that I wore a sneaker, but I also used them as my gym shoe when I was doing weights. I personally prefer the Chuck 70s over the Taylors just for the little details that differentiate them, but the main one is the cream details opposed to white. I love it. I just think it's so much more neutral and retro looking and just makes you stand out a little bit more. Moving on to accessories, firstly is my Sunday Best new goldie bag she is starting to get a little bit of wear and tear so i might need to pick one up very shortly it's kind of pilling a bit right on the strap but i'm not surprised because i've used this every single day of my life i have this specific bag in three colors black maroon and white but i definitely utilize the black the most everything about this bag is perfection you guys definitely know my love for it this is actually in my 2021 video which is so funny to look back on what has actually made it to this year's video as well some things never change and that will be this purse because it's so good <laughs> the other accessory is a pair of sunglasses but unfortunately i lost them which is so devastating i have no idea where they went and no possible idea of where i even think they could be but they are my little oval tortoise frame sunglasses from urban outfitters i'll insert a photo so you guys know what i'm talking about i'm definitely going to order another pair if i can't find them within the next few weeks but i'm really sad because i wear them every single day even though i got them in like the last quarter of the year they were 100 my most worn sunglasses and I miss them. All right, moving on to clothing, which is the fun part and the majority of this video. I just have one jacket and it is this amazing thrifted Danier leather jacket in a men's medium. I thrifted this last fall, I believe, but I wore it so much throughout the winter. And this is my designated going out jacket. It does not matter on the season, I make it work. It is so cute and I just think it elevates any outfit and makes it look so amazing but especially for like a nighttime going out outfit. This is truly something I will never get rid of and cannot see myself in the near future ever stop wearing. I searched for a bomber jacket style leather jacket for months at the thrift store and I am so happy I was patient and I found one because these are really hard to find. Next up is denim. I have two pairs to show you guys and honestly, I just circulated through these two throughout the whole year. I have both of these in two colors so keep that in mind there's like four pairs that i was circulating through but i'm going to show you my favorite shades from each style the first pair and one of the other pieces that i've made it over for my 2021 video are the levi dodging in the shade charlie boy i also have these in the black wash which i believe is called rad dad but i definitely wear these so much more and it shows through the fit i find i'm always reaching for these more just because they're more worn in and have shaped to my body. I've just never had a jeans fit me so perfectly and they're a staple in my personal style. 
another piece that I will never ever ever get rid of like honestly I could get rid of all of my other jeans and just keep this one pair and I would be so content next are another pair of Levi's but these are a thrifted pair that I got from the men's section and altered to my body at a seamstress so these are a size men's 32 i'm not sure what the length is they might be the same but it's cut off on the tag in the 550 relaxed fit as i mentioned i have two shades of this as well one in a black and this one being in this amazing medium wash color i was absolutely obsessed with these when i thrifted them in the springtime and pretty much wore them all throughout summer as well. I was truly in my big pant little shirt vibe. I honestly don't reach for them that much anymore, especially in comparison with my Levi dad jeans. Something I've noticed about myself is I become very obsessed with a new pair of clothing and I wear it constantly for a few months, but then I find something else and it's constantly switching. Maybe it's just because I'm an Aries. I don't know, I'm like either zero or a hundred. So I wore these for a few months straight, but they haven't seen the light of day in a few months. I'm sure the time will come again because I go through phases, but I did wear these for a large majority of the year. The last pair of pants are these sweatpants from Brandy Melville. I believe they're called the Anastasia sweatpant. As you guys can tell from the bottom of the sweatpants, these have been very well loved. I just never got around to getting them hemmed, but I do want to do that still because I know I will wear them more. I just love how light these are and the style is so cute. And I definitely need to get more sweatpants in the style because every time I put them on, I forget how much I love them but I just haven't had the chance to go to the store downtown. Moving on, I got my Jerk Avenue Breezy set, obviously in the blue pinstripe color, the most iconic one. I was very much in my comfy era this year, so this set was on repeat all throughout summer. And honestly, I was going through a lot of weight fluctuation this year, just with the switch of training and being on and off of birth control, that these were like the only shorts that fit me, so they were all I wore. Whether I was at a cottage or roaming around on a daily basis, I was in this wearing them separately, together, you name it, I've done it. Another outfit that I wore constantly this year was my Wilfred Free Divinity Romper. This piece fits perfectly into my comfy era that I was very much in this summer. This year specifically, I've been finding my personal style. And through that, I've been listening to what I like, what I feel comfortable in, and just picking basic staple pieces that I can comfortably wear in style in a bunch of different ways and this was definitely one of them. I found in the past I've been really weird about wearing the same things over and over again. I think that's just with overconsumption on social media but I'm definitely in a place now where I know what I like and I'm just gonna wear the same things over and over again and this is definitely one of them. Moving on to sweaters, I have another thrifted piece. This is from the brand Retreat in a size extra large from the men's section in this amazing cream cable knit style. Surprisingly, this is actually a piece that I reach for every single season. I was styling it with pants, sweatpants, but also wearing it oversized with denim shorts. I love my oversized pieces and the style and fit of this is amazing. Finishing off with tops, I have a few different styles from Aritzia. So firstly, I got the Sunday Best Little Ribbed Collection. So I have the short sleeve versions in black, white, and gray, and also the long sleeve versions in black and white, and I wore both of these equally as much, obviously varying on the seasons. You guys have heard me talk about this style of top in so many of my videos. But if you haven't, these are the best basic tees ever. The material is so comfortable and high quality and the fit of them is amazing because it is a little bit longer lined, which is something that I've definitely prioritized picking up this year because I don't know if it's with maturing, but I just don't like crop tops anymore and would rather just wear full size pieces. But that also makes sense because I have been wearing a lot more like relaxed in low-waisted pants. I love my basics and can't get any more basic than these. Going along with that, I have another piece from Sunday Best and this is actually the very last piece 
in this video, but it is the Sunday Best Carry Tank. This as well I have in black and white. Literally the most basic tank top in the world, but that is why I loved it and wore it so much. Everybody needs a good basic tank in their life. I am super picky about my white tank top. Something that I personally look for is a rounder neckline, something that will cover all of my bra straps and also one that is longer line. So yeah, this is Taylor's dream tank top. All right, and those are my most worn clothing of 2022. Thank you. <laughs> As I mentioned, I will try to link all of these pieces down below if possible, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe found some new basic timeless pieces to add to your wardrobe going into the new year. I think that's all. I will see you guys very soon with a new video.